tighten up. So you're going to just kind of let it pop it up off bottom and let it drop back. There we go. Oh, it feels so good to be back on the water shooting some video. Man, so this is the first video I'm shooting. Don't know if we'll catch any fish, of course, because that's what fishing is all about. I am out here with my wife, Susan. Say hi, Susan. Hi. She's up front. She is my partner today. Last time I had her out, we shot some terrific video. But that camera ended up on the bottom of the Mississippi River with that footage and some bass fishing footage that I had with my friend Brian from Hunt Fish Camp. I am Dan Kirk from Dan Kirk Outdoors and you can find me on YouTube at Just Go Fish. Woo, hopefully we'll put some fish in the boat today. And this just won't be me talking about losing the camera. But I got a new camera now as you can see. I'm happy about that. Thanks to Brian for a little help. Thanks to some strangers for some help. My wife for some help and myself for getting a new camera. Yay. More video. All right. Let's see if we can catch some fish. It is, what do we got? 73 degree water. There's hardly a breeze. We'll see what happens on Winnebago with these conditions. Sunny, high, bright sun. It's the middle of the day. My wife doesn't get up early to go fishing. Come on. So we're out here, middle of the day, late. Let's see, it's pushing on noon. What'll happen? Maybe a big fish? Maybe no fish? Nah, you can always get a sheephead to bite. If you can't get a sheephead to bite, quit. Yeah, take the rest <laughs> of that day off. Forget it, it's not happening. <laughs> Do you got anything yet? Nothing yet, not even a bite. Not even a bite, one cast. Man, it's sad. All right, more soon. It's something and it's claw. It looks a little small for an eagle, but. It could be a baby eagle. Oh, fish. Susan's got fish on. Oh, he's got a fish. You lose him? No. Well, come on. We're on, we're on camera here. Be serious. Quit <laughs> staring at the birds. The eagle's got a fish. The eagle's got a fish. You just don't lose that fish. Susan catching first fish. It's a silver bass. <laughs> She's, she got the first fish. Woo Nothing to get excited about. But it is a fish. I didn't get skunked. She did not get skunked. Can I put my hand in his mouth? Yeah. If you can get your hand in his mouth, they're so small. Oh, yes. Never mind. Show the camera what you got, Susan. I have to put my gloves on. Oh. <laughs> We're going to have to edit there. all this out. <laughs> I don't want to see this crap. <laughs> Sheephead are not very sharp. They were. I put What they I got? Yeah, they got the. And the end of the fin his... right up here is pointy, and then down but, there, uh, too. I got poked yeah. down there, actually. Okay, there you go. Something lives on this beautiful day in calm water, holiday weekend. Fish on. Got a fish on. Got a fish on. It's a silver bass. It's a rare silver bass. Whew. These guys are delicious. So delicious. Look at his really red butthole. Mm. <laughs> oh, let him go. He's so delicious. All right. I had a while I hit before, lost him. So that's sad. On this slow day. Well, we didn't get but it's uh, we didn't get skunked. Wow. You don't get skunked when you come out on Winnebago. It's practically impossible to get skunked out here. No, yeah, maybe. It's because you don't fish long enough. If you're out here all day, <laughs> you wouldn't get skunked. 
All right, really early in the year can happen, late in the year can happen, but summer, man, should be able to find some sheephead anyway. You'll get walleyes mixed in. That's why I do this all the time, get walleyes mixed in. It's fun. Lake Winnebago, unsalted in the back, no sharks. <laughs> we like the fact there's no sharks out here. Got a fish on? I do. I thought it was in the weeds. Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, it's, it's a It's a walleye. You're just casually winding it in. Look at the size of that one. <laughs> I think that's what's been messing with us. Oh, he's off. Show the camera your giant walleye. Push him way out and get a stick figure next to it. <laughs> An action figure. That's what we need. Oh, yeah, it's a beautiful day out here. Yay. Susie got a walleye. Ooh, successful. A successful trip then. Always a good time if I get to fish with Susan. There she is. <laughs> Doing my usual jig and plastic combination. All right, so you want to hear the story on what happened to my GoPro? Maybe you do. Well, now's a good time to tell it. I was fishing with Brian on the Mississippi out of Brian's boat. He has a bass boat, so the deck is flat and low to the water. We were fishing for bass, and we both made a cast simultaneously up near shore, and we both got snagged at the same time. So Brian took the boat up there, and uh, what did he drop a power pole or something to kind of hold us in place so we could get really close to shore and unsnag ourselves and after we unsnagged ourselves we drifted back because of the current and unbeknownst to us there was a tree that was hanging over in the water that we didn't see soon enough and i was all concerned about my rods getting taken dragged off or broke with the tree branches to get ryan to pull forward quick not thinking about the camera that I had on the tripod on the back deck rolling when uh, I noticed it was missing. Never saw it go in, never heard it go in. It was just gone. So I lost my camera, the tripod, the external battery that I had on it, the, the uh, mod that I had on it, like the blog mod on there, and other things. So it was kind of kind of tragic at the time for me to lose that. Plus. I had awesome footage of my wife catching some great walleyes on Lake Winnebago that I was gonna make a show out of. So I lost that too. And we, Brian went for a swim for me, trying to find it, but it didn't work. And then later we cast, dragged some jigs, dragged some crankbaits around, did not recover the camera. I'd still like to recover it. I could turn that camera in for a discount, I think, and then at least get my footage back, which would be nice, but that will be highly unlikely. Maybe 20 years from now, when I'm old and mostly dead, somebody will find it <laughs> and, and notice who it is I got my tail at Just Go Fish, Dan Kirk Outdoors. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Thanks. You had your tail bit off? Yep. Right by the boat. Stupid gulps. Too soft. It was exciting. If you come out here, bring bring crawlers if you're with kids. I have my people throw crawlers around because sometimes it's a crawler bite, not a plastics bite. But this was last minute and we came out. It's just nice. Nice to fish. And that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Oh. You just let it pendulum down? Yeah, yeah that's it. said that, and, I, <laughs> and then, okay, here we go. Can't believe I didn't turn the camera back on when I was done talking. Didn't see her hook up. Another baby walleye for a pretty lady. It's really big. Look how big he is. You gotta <laughs> hide all your fingers. 
Get them fingers out of the way. I can't. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> of course I have the camera running. It's how you get shots. I can't believe you want me to turn the camera off while you pee. <laughs> I'll have to quit fishing because that'll be when I hook up the biggest fish of the day. Yeah. Whatever. 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 She finished peeing and she hooks up, <laughs> but I, I can look at the rod tip. I know what it is. It's not a walleye. It's a rod it's bouncing all over the place. <laughs> Oh wait, it's a smallie. Woo, I think we got a small mouth here. Digging. All right. <sighs> woot woot. It's a nice one. That's a measure, smallie. Yeah. I need you to get a picture of me. You want a picture with that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Grab hard. I did. Grab harder. <laughs> Jeez. Ow! He's biting me. <laughs> He's got sharp teeth. Okay, 14 and three quarters. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there. Beautiful. Yes. Go. I wasn't gonna get All picture, right. But... Fun, huh? I'm bleeding. <laughs> You're bleeding? Yeah. He had sharp teeth. That's weird. I don't know. Why do you think I was saying ow? You know what? A bonus smallmouth for Susan. Yay. Yay. Hot days. Oh, fish. This could be a walleye. I hope so. This could be a walleye. Oh, it's not. It's a smallie? It's a smallie. <laughs> he hit and was fighting like a little walleye. And now it's a, a smallie. Ah. How big he is! <laughs> Cute. <laughs> a baby! Woo! I think we have no wind out here now. Hot. None wind. It's hot, but it's only in the 70s, but it feels hot. Uh. Look, I got hooked. <laughs> uh. Yeah, too bad we screwed all the footage up from that. There we go. Nice. What is he? 14? 14. Mm -hmm. 14. Nice fishy. Susan's got a fish. He's not biting much. Baby walleye. That's it. <laughs> Another one. Little guy. He's chubby. Well, thanks for joining me, Dan Kirk, Dan Kirk Outdoors, at Just Go Fish. Thanks, Susan, for joining me. It's a good time on Winnebago. A lot more sheep than walleyes, just some tiny walleyes, a couple of small mouths. It was still fun. A lot of boat waves out here. Very pleasant day in the mid-70s, holiday weekend. So it's a little crowded, but it was a good time. Thanks for joining me. Bye. What do you got, baby? A baby something? Yeah, yeah. yeah they just stay down. Actually, actually. Oh, did it get bigger? Did it get the boat? Oh, you got tricked, man. Duped. Duped.